the beautiful game of football and its ecosystem simply does not function without coaches and those who help to develop talent across the board. That's why Safa House came to a standstill on Women's Day. It was a special occasion, Graduation Day. So we are here at Safa House today here at NASRAC uh, to celebrate the 35 uh, coaches that just graduated with their CAFC license uh, through the partnership with the uh, Hollywood Foundation and uh, we are here to obviously commemorate and celebrate that on a very auspicious occasion uh, like Women's Day. In order for you to develop talent, you, you have to develop the, the trainers as well. So at, at Hollywood Foundation, we, we are serious about uh, the development of, uh, of footballers in this country and if we are serious about the development of footballers in this country, we also have to be serious about developing the trainers that will eventually train those uh, footballers to become the next uh, future stars in our country. We must have more qualified coaches, especially junior level, you know, um, because that's where you instill a national playing philosophy, you instill the basics of playing football, you know, we should not only look at coaches in, in top in top leagues, what happens at the grassroots level, so it's really key that our coaches are equipped with the necessary knowledge. The coaches know the importance of empowering themselves and making sure they continue to grow and their huge roles are acknowledged across the board. What a journey uh, that we, we had when we started with, with the course. Uh, at the beginning I had doubts. I'm like, oh hi. Football has evolved uh, from where I started and with what I was learning through. Um, the journey, yeah, I, I must say I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited, I'm, I'm over the moon. If uh, South African football wants to compete and become uh, the best in terms of the global stage, then we need accredited, we need qualified, we need educated coaches to be able to guide our teams, um, you know, from grassroots level all the way to the professional level, to our national teams, it'll translate. Sponsors are our lifeblood in terms of uh, delivering our various programs, you know, working with our national teams, working with our regions, um, etc. So it's really key that we've got sponsors like Hollywood Bets on board and the Hollywood Bets Foundation, you know, that continue to support us in terms of achieving the various goals that we've set ourselves, uh, especially, you know, um, producing more women's football coaches and also, um, you know, empowering the coaches that are working with women's football. I would say the future is bright. You know, programs like this uh, are not just a flash in the pan. Programs like this are part of a legacy project. We want to see these female coaches one day graduate as B-licensed coaches and eventually as A-licensed coaches. But not, not only that, we want them to, to be placed in, in professional outfits, in professional clubs. As we try as Hollywood Bets also to, to develop and improve the standard of, of the women's game in this country, we need qualified coaches to be sitting on those benches and barking out the instructions and to be drilling the players during those training sessions. So that speaks to the, the, the bigger ecosystem. But not only that, we're not developing female coaches for the female game, we're developing female coaches for the game, which means from, from school all the way to the elite level and hopefully the PSL.